An emergency is no time for on-the-job training. It is recommended that you familiarize yourself with the contents of this video. The emergency response kit, recommended practices, and installation procedures before an emergency occurs. This video is not a substitute for in-depth training or specific handling techniques or emergency response procedures. In the event of a leaking valve or fitting, it is critical that appropriate steps be taken immediately to mitigate the leak. Anyone involved in capping a leak should follow their company's procedures and manufacturer's material safety data sheets, MSDS, regarding personal protective equipment. Note that in the event of an actual tank car leak, you would be required to wear the appropriate personal protective equipment. For purposes of this video demonstration, the participants are only wearing minimal safety equipment. If the preceding leak stopping techniques are not effective in eliminating the cause of the leak, and if all other appropriate options have been completely and thoroughly considered, then an emergency capping kit may be used to contain the leak. Caution. Response personnel should be aware that the use of a capping kit may prevent response personnel from pursuing alternative response options. Let's examine the equipment used for capping leaks. The Midland Emergency Response Kit consists of gaskets, cover cans, bridges, tie bars. There are five different sizes of cover cans with respective gaskets which can be used to cap the leaking valve or fitting. The first step is to lay the gaskets from the cover cans around the valve or fitting you are attempting to seal to determine which of the cans will fit. The individual cover cans or caps cannot be used if the valves and fittings on the manway cover plate have not been designed to be capable. In this case, the fittings may be positioned too close together the minimum spacing between the flange edges is three quarters of an inch to permit the installation of the cover cans and their gaskets. Third, the nuts on the manway studs may be too close to the valve flanges, again three quarters of an inch minimum spacing, to position the cover cans. If the spacing is less than three quarters of an inch minimum, the capping kit cannot be used to apply a cap and achieve a seal to the cover plate. Next, Prepare the sealing surface of the cover plate to receive the gasket. Any nicks, corrosion, chipped paint, or other discontinuities should be smoothed out using a flat blade scraper, wire brush, and emery paper. Wipe away all loose debris. Proper preparation of the sealing surface between the gasket and the cover plate is very important to eliminate or minimize any potential leak paths below the gasket. Now, select the can that fits over the valve being capped. The valve hand wheel or ball valve handle will need to be removed to allow the can cover to be positioned around the leaking valve or fitting. On valves equipped with removable bushings, it may be necessary to remove the bushings. For 1 inch and 2 inch angle valves, it will be necessary to remove the side port pipe plug to allow for can clearance. For the 3 inch angle valve, the complete side flange will need to be removed for can clearance. Now we will demonstrate installing the can plumbing required to remove the leaking liquid or gas once the can is installed. The first step is to install the gasket on the bottom rim of the cover can. Remember, always thoroughly clean off the surface of the cover plate on which the gasket will seal. In the side port of the cover can, you will be installing the following 90 degree elbow, 2 inch nipple, and a ball valve. On the male threads of the nipple and elbow, wrap Teflon thread tape clockwise. Install the 90 degree elbow on the side port on the cover can. This elbow should be rotated to the 11 o'clock or 1 o'clock position so that it does not interfere with the bridge that will be positioned above it later. Use the offset pipe wrench on the elbow to tighten it. Next, screw the nipple and the 2 inch ball valve on the other end of the elbow. Be sure the ball valve is fully open. Again, use the pipe wrench to snug the threads. Now, lower the cover can so that the side port of the can is at a 90 degree angle from the bridge to be installed. Again, make sure that the can does not interfere with any of the other valves or fittings and that it is seated so the can wall is square to the surface of the cover plate. Reinspect the gasket to make sure the rim of the can is in the groove of the gasket and is seated and flat on the previously clean surface of the cover plate.
Now we will demonstrate how to install the bridge that will hold the cover can securely in place. Open or remove, if necessary, the two porthole covers on the protective housing or dome which are in line with the covered valve. Install the two porthole brackets, the four tie bars, and the four lower 5 8 inch tie bar pins through the two side holes of the cover plate skirt. Note that on some protective housings or domes, the porthole under the hinge will require the use of the thin tie bar on the outside when the space between the hinge pin and the housing is too narrow for a one inch thick tie bar. Now we'll install the jack screws. Adjust the block on the jack screws to the lowest position so that only the ball end of the jack screw protrudes. Position the jack screw and the block assembly in a location on the bridge assembly so that the bridge assembly will overhang the manway housing equally when lowered on the jack screw block with the screw in the cover can socket. Hold the top of the jack screw assembly while guiding the tie bar ends up through the openings between the channels. Install the four tie bar pins. Center the jack screw on the cover. Tighten the jack screw and when slightly more than hand tight, Tap the brackets with a bronze mallet to center each in the porthole. Then tap the tops of the tie bar pairs so they are vertical, parallel, and equally spaced. Tighten the jack screw until the cover can is sealed. If necessary, loosen the jack screw, tap the jack screw to recenter it on the cover, and keep the cover square to the manway cover plate and retighten it.